Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to part 60 of my ultimate guide to Logic Pro. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Transposer MIDI Effects plugin. This is a very simple, very easy to use, but extremely effective MIDI Effects plugin that can be used for simple transposition and scale or key quantization, or you can use both functions together. If you wanna follow along with me in this tutorial, this Logic project is available as a free download in the video description below. But before we get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. If you're a music producer or mixing engineer like me, you'll really love the collaboration and commenting tools at boombox.io. With Boombox, you can upload finished tracks for your clients or share stems or multi-tracks with the batch upload feature. Invite your clients as collaborators who can then leave timestamped feedback on their tracks. Make revisions to the tracks based on your client's feedback and upload new versions of the track until it's finished. You can even keep your clients from downloading the final mix until they pay their final bill. Head over to boombox.io and sign up for a free account today to get four gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so before I get into the transposer controls, let me just show you what this project sounds like. It's just a drum beat, a bass line, chords, and a lead, and the lead, chords, and bass are all in completely different keys. The bass is in C major, the chords are in A major, and the lead is in C sharp major. Yeah, so because everything is in a different key, it sounds horrible. So let's start with just the bass and I'll demonstrate the basic controls of the transposer. And then I'll show you how to use the transposer to bring all three of these tracks together in the same key. So I'm gonna load up the transposer on this track. Here it is. And like I said before, there are two main functions. You can transpose just in parallel or you can scale or key quantize. So the transposition slider will just transpose the MIDI up or down in semitones. So if you wanted to transpose up an octave, you'd set this to 12. If you wanted two octaves, you'd set it to 24. And likewise, we can transpose down as well. So right now, this bass line is in C major. So you can see there's a bottom note on C. We have another note up here on C2, B natural, and then E, so it's squarely in the key of C major. If I wanted to transpose this from C major, maybe up to D major, all you'd have to do is pull up the transposition slider. So to go from C to D, you just count up like this, zero, one, two. So we need to go up two semitones. So now we're in D major. Or if I wanted to go from C to F sharp, we just count up zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we gotta go up six semitones. So now we're in F sharp major. Now likewise, you can go down, like if I wanted to go from C to G, I could count backwards. So zero is C, one, two, three, four, five. So I could go down five semitones as well that'll put us down in G major. Now another function is you can scale or key quantize using this area here. Now you can click on notes and turn them on or off. So you can create your own custom scale that you want to quantize to, or you can just simply set the root of the scale and the type of scale here. So let's say I wanna take this from C major down to C minor. One of the things I wanna talk about here is that most scale quantization functions generally will transpose notes down, not up. So if we're going from C major, which is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, down to C minor, I'll just select natural minor, this takes the B and A and makes them A flat and B flat, or G sharp and A sharp. It takes the E and moves it down to E flat, or D sharp. So this will be totally fine if we're taking these notes that are higher and transposing them down to fit into a minor key. But if you are starting in minor and going up to major, it's not gonna work out properly because the scale quantization function transposes notes down, not up. 
So typically, if you're going from major to minor, you will be okay. But if you're going from minor to major, you're actually just better off going into the MIDI data and manually transposing the notes in the piano roll. So let's see what this bass line sounds like now in C minor. Back in C major. Back in C minor. Now, if I wanted to take this and then transpose the key up or down, like if I wanted this to now be D minor, I couldn't just select D minor here. It may work for some keys, but it's not gonna work for others because you're taking something that has a completely different root note and you're trying to transpose it to a different key with a different root note. So what you have to do first, if you're going to shift the scale, say from major to minor, you have to shift the scale first, keep the root as the same root, and then you have to transpose the entire thing here. The problem is, let's say I wanted to go to D minor, so going from C to D would be two semitones. I could raise this by two semitones. The problem with this by default is the transposer comes first, then the scale quantize comes second. So what you can do is you can open up this little menu at the bottom and you can change the processing order. So if I want the scale to come first, then the transpose to be second, you can totally do that. So again, just to kind of wrap this up, I'm going from a bass line in C major to C minor, then we're transposing that C minor bass line up two semitones to D minor. Okay, so let's move up to the chords now. Now the chords are in A major, but they do have an A7 chord, so they're not squarely in A major, but they're they're pretty close. Basically, this is just a one five one, I think seven, or no, it's a one five one five chord. The second five chord is just in a different inversion. Um, so these are in A major right now. So it's basically just A7 and then E7. So let me add the transposer to this. And once again, if you're going to use the scale and the transpose feature, you're best to change the processing order so that the scale processing happens first and then the transposition happens second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this from A major and we're gonna put it in A minor. So I'll change the root to A, and I'll change the scale to natural minor. Now there's a whole bunch of other scales in here. There's uh, different uh, major type scales and different minor type scales, including your modes, things like blues scales, pentatonic scales, klezmer, Japanese scales, Southeast Asian scales. So, you know, play around with these and you can get some uh, different cool sounds. In particular, it's kind of cool to load in loops that are MIDI based and then drop the transposer on it and change the root and scale to match your song and see what happens. Sometimes you'll be pleasantly surprised that you get something that sounds really cool. Other times you'll find that you get things that just don't work. So with loops, it's kind of hit and miss. So I'm gonna go to A natural minor. Okay, so we're in A minor now, but remember the bass line, we transposed it to D. So the bass line right now is in D minor and the chords are in A minor, so they're not gonna fit. So what I'll do is I'll transpose these chords from A down or up to D. So we could count backwards, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could go down seven semitones, but we could also go up, so zero, one, two, three, four, five. It's basically just, you know, we're basically just deciding whether we want to go down into a lower octave or up into a higher octave. So here's the higher octave. And then the lower octave. Yep, 
Yeah, I like the lower octave. So now my chords and my bass are both in D minor. Okay, let's move up to the lead. So this is a C sharp major lead. So once again, we're gonna add the transposer. And for this, I'm gonna use the other processing order. I'm gonna use transpose, then scale. You could do it scale, then transpose. The workflow is just gonna be a little bit different. So what we have to think about is the root note. This is in C sharp right here, and we need to take it to D to match the chords in the bass. So we just need to go up one semitone. So if I raise this by one semitone, now this whole lead is in D major, but we're still in the wrong scale. Because it's now in D major, uh, because of the transposer, we can change the root to D, and then we can set the scale to natural minor. So you can use either processing order, it's just a matter of uh, how the workflow is gonna work. Do you need to transpose the root up or down and then match the scale, or do you match the scale and then transpose the root up or down? So that is the Transposer MIDI Effects plugin in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.